Hey guys, it's Paul here. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about Taiwan and my first trip there and basically share some of my experience and tips and tricks that I learned along the way to make your trip easier and more enjoyable. For this video, I'm gonna go over my initial impressions of Taiwan, transportation, housing, food, tourist attractions, general traveling information and tips about Taiwan. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a free gift that will help you on your Taiwan travels. My first impressions of Taiwan was that it was very easy to get from the airport to Taiwan using the MRT system, which is basically their public transportation system, their metro that is inexpensive and can get you to many areas around Taipei. The people of Taiwan are extremely nice and friendly, and that's one of the big surprises of this trip. I just felt so welcomed as a tourist, even though I can't speak Mandarin, and I was able to still get around easily, do shopping and ordering food without knowing any Mandarin. Only one occasion or two times where I had to use my Google Translator to help me communicate properly. But otherwise, there was no issue. The other surprising thing I noticed about Taiwan is it was very clean overall. The public restrooms were clean. I only ran into uh, a few squatting uh, urinals. Uh, or uh, bathrooms and some occasions you would actually there was no toilet paper but overall I had no issues with that and then for the streets there was no garbage despite its nickname Taiwan as garbage island in the past you know I, I didn't see any litter or garbage in the streets it didn't smell that bad the other thing I noticed was in the public streets I could not find any recycling bins or garbage cans and I didn't know why because I always had garbage with me from food stands or empty water bottles. And so I researched it more and I found out that Taiwan's trash services is pretty strict and the locals only have a small window of time and specific locations to discard their trash. And so they don't want to have these trash cans in the public or recycling bins because they don't want people taking trash from home and filling them up and littering the streets. And so it's illegal to put trash out in the streets and by doing this they encourage recycling and reducing waste and it has worked very well. Alright, let's talk about transportation options in Taiwan. The first one though it's probably going to be most used especially if you are going to be staying in Taipei is the MRT or mass rapid transit system and this is a very convenient cost-effective way to get around Taipei a single cost ticket for the MRT goes from anywhere from 30 to 160 NTD and from Taiwan's airport the Taiyong airport to the main Taipei station it's 160 NTD. Here's a good tip for you if you're going from the Taiyong airport to the Taipei main station there are two options you can take there's the express trains which are going to be colored purple and that will take about 35 minutes and then if you take the regular train which are the blue ones that'll take about 50 minutes. Some of the other tips about the MRT is that there are single fare options where you'll have to, you know, basically pay each time you use it or you can get an easy card and load it with money and that way you can just tap it at the entry of each of the MRT stations and tap it when you go out. And this is a great convenient way to save time and these cost, I believe, a couple hundred NTD just to buy the card initially and then you can load it with however much you want and then if you have anything remaining on these cards at the end of your trip you can cash it out as well and then also to keep in mind these easy cards can be used at a bunch of different areas such as tourist attractions or even at some of the family marts that we noticed you know you just have to check with them if they accept the easy card you can also use it on buses and as also the regular trains. The other simple thing to keep in mind with the MRT is that it's always very orderly on how people wait in line to get on the MRT. So if you look down on the waiting platform, there are lines on the ground tape basically showing you where you should line up. So don't just run in and cut people and jump on the train. So your next transportation option is the TRA, which is the Taiwan Railway Administration System. So the, the TRA is the main railway 
service in Taiwan. The signage and the layout of the stations are a little more complicated than the MRT system. You can also use your Easy Pass for this for non-assigned seating. If you go on an express uh, train, they have assigned seating so you have to purchase a separate ticket. Uh, do not throw away your ticket as you need to show this at your exit destination. Another option for transportation is the bus. You can use your easy card for this or just pay with cash. And basically this is very similar to the US with um, public transportation in the US. You basically pay as you enter or pay as you leave depending on the location. If you're in a hurry and you're not too worried about cost, taxis are a good option to get around Taipei or outside of Taipei. And we found it to be actually quite inexpensive overall, but just uh, ask how much it is before you get in and, and take off just to double check. And I've heard that you can also use Uber in Taiwan and it basically pulls the taxi drivers in as the drivers anyway. But that's another option for you. Now, if you wanna travel on the west coast or south part of Taiwan, you can use the T Taiwan High Speed Railway or the THSR. And this is basically a high speed railway that runs along the west coast of Taiwan and has top speeds of 300 kilometers an hour. And it goes from the Taipei main station all the way to the south of Taiwan. And generally you will want to order these tickets in advance. Now we're gonna talk about housing in Taipei. And basically we found that uh, there's a lot of inexpensive options and for those who are looking to save money and then there's the high end where you can spend a lot of money for luxury places to stay so we wanted to stay basically close to the mrt station and the popular locations i'm going to butcher these names but it's zongzen wunhao uh, zinji zongshan and dan are the popular districts where people will want to stay for their first time in Taipei. Since we were out in about 12 to 16 hours a day, we didn't really care too much about how our hotel was. So we picked a fairly inexpensive option near the Taipei main station, City Inn Three Star Hotel. And it was actually recently remodeled. The rooms were a little small. We had a king size bed, but it was comfortable and good enough for us. The staff there was extremely nice and they helped us a lot with any questions we had. So this is another random traveling tip that I want to share is basically, you know, Taiwan has very unpredictable weather, especially with rain. It just rains all the time randomly throughout the day. So you always want to carry an umbrella with you. So right when we got there, we, we bought two umbrellas from 7-Eleven, which we did not need to because our hotel actually provides umbrellas for you to take out during the day and so that's something you should know check with your hotel so you don't have to waste money on buying umbrellas and then when you go into tourist attraction places shops shopping malls or restaurants sometimes they'll make you leave your umbrella outside or near the entrance area so keep that in mind they don't want the water dripping from your umbrella to get the floor all wet and slippery or dirty uh, and then some places will have plastic wraps or bags that you just put on your umbrella and then you can walk around wherever you're going all right the next thing i'm going to talk about is food i love food all right so one of the main things we wanted to do is of course eat a lot when we are visiting taiwan it's known for their street food and night markets so there's a lot of different options here it's pretty inexpensive with especially with the street food and then you can obviously go to more expensive sit-down restaurants there's a lot of high-end places as well so we went to the xilin night market which is one of the biggest night markets in taipei and for two people we ate dinner there and we spent $15 USD and basically we were full we couldn't eat anymore and we weren't not trying to save money some of the popular night markets in Taipei are the Xilin night market the Roha night market the Nijiang night market the Huzing night market and the Lijing night market so I might have said some of those wrong but those are the popular ones we didn't really have any issues ordering food even though we didn't speak any Mandarin uh, we, sometimes we used the Google app do the Google translator to basically look at menus if they didn't have an English menu we would try to look at through the camera and try to figure out what 
it was translating or kind of get an idea of what to order. And then uh, sometimes I would just ask, oh, do you have an English menu? And oftentimes they did, especially in the tourist areas. So bubble tea is very popular in Taiwan and Taipei. It's known for that. And it's very inexpensive. We ran it to be anywhere one to two dollars USD for a bubble tea drink. And then another tip is if you are traveling in a larger group and you have arguments of where to eat, some options are the bigger shopping malls or department stores. They have usually have a food court on one level and there's a, at least 20 to 30 different options um, to choose from and it, the food is generally pretty good. Good ones would be Taipei 101 and the Shinkan Mitsukoshi malls. For pickpocketing and theft, we did not run in, into any issues in Taiwan, but just be cautious at the night markets or anywhere where you're, it's really crowded. Uh, personally, for me, I just wore my backpack in front of me in the night markets because it's just so cramped. And so, I, um, but overall, I had no issues. All right, let's talk about Taiwanese dollars or money and what you should do. Basically, I used ATMs to take out money. It, it usually had pretty good exchange rates. And also, you have to know that most places will only accept cash, especially street food vendors but the more high-end department stores or high-end sit-down restaurants will accept credit cards. Let's talk about Taiwan's rainfall and temperature and weather basically. So to be prepared, if you go during the November to April months, that's the low season, right? Or the winter and the temperatures will range up to the mid 70s and in the low 60s on the daytime. And then from the nighttime, anywhere from 50s to 60s Fahrenheit. The summer months will be from May through September and basically this can reach up to 90s degrees Fahrenheit and lows in the 70s. The rainy months will be from April to September. Your moderate rain will be from February through March and then your least rainy months will be from October through January. When we visited in March we actually did not encounter very mosquitoes at all. We didn't get any bites so that's just for March, but keep in mind if you go in the rainy summer months, you'll encounter more mosquitoes. Other tourists you might run into are gonna be mostly from Japan or China. And then we also ran into some people from the United States, New Zealand, Hong Kong, uh, Vietnam, and Thailand. Now let's talk about shopping. There's tons of shopping options in Taipei and you can go from the low end where it's like cheap souvenirs, inexpensive things, like street things you can find at night markets, all the way to high end, super high end uh, clothing, fashion brands at the department stores. So there's tons of options. You just walk around and you can see that there's tons of shops where you can find something that you will like. To get around, I often used my Google Maps on my phone and just use that to get to where I needed and it was fairly accurate and it, I would recommend using that app. Now if you need data especially for your Google Maps you have two options. You can rent a Wi-Fi router which basically um, it's a pocket Wi-Fi that allows you to connect to it, multiple phones to connect to it uh, and you can have data or you can rent a SIM card for you know, one, three, seven, five, seven days. And that's probably your best uh, inexpensive option is just to get a SIM card. So to pick up the pocket Wi-Fi or SIM card, you can get it at the airport when you first land. The pocket Wi-Fi will cost a deposit. Uh, you have to put a deposit down and then rent it for four to $8 per day. If you get a SIM card, it's about $3 per day. Let's talk about attractions. So there's tons of different attractions you can see in Taiwan or Taipei. And basically it depends on what you like, right? I'll leave a link in the description box below for my tour recommendations for all the tourist attractions. And since you made it to the end of the video, my gift to you for your Taiwan travels will be a Google map of all the different locations and recommendations for food that I liked to share with you uh, and save you some time. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the tips I provided about Taiwan, my first impressions. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.